so it, we might as well say it's summertime. But it's springtime here. Let's see. You can just serve this over the top, and and I put it in the freezer just like this. Unless I have like a steamed vegetable thing already made up. And that, this will take about two minutes to heat. So whatever you put over here, you don't want it to get rubbery within two minutes. So um, I normally just heat, put it in the refrigerator just like this. And I take it to work with a little bag of salad. And um, that's a meal right there. So, and then what I can do with the pasta sauce as well, you can make uh, a pasta fazool soup. Um, <laughs> I combine both of these ingredients together. Let me get something to mix in. Well, shoot, I just came up with that on the top of my head and I don't have anything to put it in. Well, here, I will grab a bowl and we will mix in. And what you would do is just pretty much add uh, half equal parts of each sauce. So, and how it will become a soup is you will add equal parts of broth, um, beef. So I'm doing a, a cup and a half of each. And then um, a cup and a half of broth, which I don't have handy with me, but I will get it out and make it. And that would be pasta fazool soup. So um, you can put in a tomato soup if you want, a tomato soup, tomato sauce if you want into it, and add a little more herbs if you want to make it more saucy. But honestly, the broth would do it with this, um, with the tomato um, spaghetti sauce. So, and basically, that right there could be served over a pasta. Um, and a whole wheat pasta would be really good to try. Or even the rice pasta. Uh, there is spaghetti noodles. I use the spaghetti uh, rice noodles as well. So they have all different shapes and sizes. And it's fun to play with. But there you go. There's a few dishes. Um, there's a ton more I could show you. I can show you how to make lasagna with the sauce, um, even the combination sauce I've done it with, and oh, it is really good. Yeah, um, you know, uh, with lasagna, I take one noodle and I roll it up. I fill it full of whatever, you know, low-fat uh, ricotta, or um, I do a lot of vegetables. I do um, zucchini, um, any kind of vegetable you think of, portobellas, I stuff it full of mostly vegetables, to be honest. And then I do the Italian cheese blend, um, you know, like all the different cheeses. You can get the package blend if you want. I don't find those. They kind of be rubbery. They're a little bit rubbery to me, but that's fine. If you want convenience, throw that in. Um, and then uh, I end up doing a little bit of the uh, uh, cheese inside, just a little bit, not a lot. And I roll it up. And maybe I'll show you that next time with the Italian dish. Um, I'll do a I'm going to do a different segment with chicken, um, and you can do rotisserie chicken, or you can have the regular chicken. I'm going to show you several different ways of making several make-ahead dishes, and this way you can just pull it out of the refrigerator. You can have either bake type, or you can have microwave type. So, and then that's way it's quick. You don't have to have single serving if you have a family that you plan on feeding. Um, I have some that I like. I bring these to lunches. Um, and then uh, for lunches, and then I do the enough for three because I have two two daughters, so um, for us, and that way we have the same amount for each person, and it it actually saves time. I'm running around with the kids with all the different activities. Plus, I have my own business. I work. Um, I have a full time job, and voila! I have a freezer full of food. And that way I can pull it out. I rotate it out with the dates, making sure that I eat the oldest date, or the, yeah, the oldest date first. So, okay, so here you go. That's pretty much it. Um, check back, and I will have more videos for you on Make Ahead. So, and healthy.
that's the main key. Okay, see, I forgot to show you my cookbook. What I have here is The Art of Cuisine, Volume 1. I wrote this book. Um, it's a lot of family recipes and friends. Um, but, you know, it has a lot of these recipes in it and a lot of good home cook recipes. I mean, you will get your money's worth definitely for this. 25% of this book that is purchased, your money that's purchased, will go to the um, Children's Shriners Hospital. So I am donating most of the proceeds to the hospital. Um, it's 25%. Um, and I am in the process of writing a volume two, uh, but a healthy version of the art of cuisine. Uh, it will have a little more recipes um, in it, but stay tuned because that volume book will be coming out too. And that will have low fat, low carb, um, and healthy, just healthy meals, basically. It's not really so much low fat, low carb. It's just pretty much a healthy way of eating and um, taking a lot of these recipes and changing them out. Such as, instead of using sugar, I'll use stevia or date paste. Um, or rice, you know, syrup. There's like all kinds of different things. And you know what? Some of them are actually turning out better than the old original recipes. And it's great. So I'm having fun experimenting and I hope you guys enjoy it. I have gotten a lot of great feedback on this book. Um, people really have enjoyed it. I've had very simple recipes in here and anybody can follow. Um, so thank you very much. Enjoy. <laughs>